welcome to Trinity Community Primary School. We're a small village school with 160 pupils based in the heart of Aberystwyth. This short video aims to inform parents, carers and friends of the school about our transition policies, particularly how we welcome and continuously support children with English as an additional language. As you can see from our website, we embrace and aim to accommodate various cultures and languages, as we believe this enriches and diversifies our learning environment. The school encompasses foundation phase 3 to 7 year olds and key stage 2 7 to 11 year olds, following the National Curriculum for Wales. As part of the school's open door policy, you are welcome to come into the school to gain an insight into the curriculum at any time. As part of our transition and inclusion review, we have adopted a new school motto, all different, all equal. Myself and the school governor thought it extremely beneficial to send two of our experienced teachers on training and they have now adopted the roles of EAL and transition coordinators, overseeing provision across the whole school. The senior management team have also established a strong and close working relationship with MLAS, who support learners and families with English as an additional language. I feel strongly that a whole school approach is crucial in ensuring any new pupils feel safe and respected at school and that their individual needs are wholly met. I'm a year one class teacher here at Trinity Community School and in keeping with the ethos of the school, all different, all equal, we aim to create a safe environment where everyone feels welcome and children feel safe to talk and ask questions. I think it's very important that children going through the transition of a new school uh, have the opportunity to visit their classroom, to visit their teacher, uh, to meet all the new friends they're going to have in the school. Um, when a new child becomes part of our class, we play lots of games, lots of activities to break the ice, to make friends, to know more about each other, as well as lots of PSC activities such as circle times for them to talk and to maybe share something that they couldn't share anywhere else. For those children who join our class with English as an additional language, I start to make signs, uh, timetables, displays uh, bilingual to give the children something familiar to latch on to, to be able to see that that sign means something. I also tend to teach the children in the class some words from a different language, such as hello or thank you, to break that language barrier, to start to help them make new friends, to feel they have something in common. I also, also ask the children to bring in something that they feel is very special to them, maybe a toy or a book or a photo that they can uh, go to in class um, if they feel that they need some comfort or they feel upset. I held an open door policy to all parents. This creates a positive homeschool link, allowing parents to come in if they have any fears or worries, which can be argued straight away. For parents with English as an additional language, or any parents in that matter, can come in and I can give them information about their children's learning, about what's going on in the classroom, and I can also give them resources to help them with their own children's learning in the house, such as a bilingual book, uh, such as a game to help them develop their language skills but it's all important for the children to become involved in their learning during this transition period. My role as transition coordinator is to ensure that I am culturally aware of every child's background in order for me to act as an advocate for them. Moving to a new school can be a particularly stressful time for any child um, but moving to a school where they don't speak the same language as you can be an extremely difficult transition for children to make and um, therefore we feel it's essential that all children at Trinity Primary School um, feel welcome and safe and we want them to feel that they belong and that they are an important part of our school and community. At Trinity Primary one of the systems we have in place to support new students is the buddy system. This involves our current students welcoming and supporting any new students um, to the school whether that be by showing them around the school grounds or the general routine of the day to even simple things such as where they should hang their coats and um, the students that play in the buddies will play a central role in welcoming the new students to the school. Hi, I'm Jane Year 5. I'm looking forward to being a buddy for the new children and making sure <coughs> they know the routine of the school. Um, and as well as welcoming the students, we also understand that an essential aspect of the transition to a new school is ensuring that parents and carers are well informed of the school's ethos and policies and how we can support your children. This is why we decided to have induction days for parents where you can join your children in visiting the school and get an idea of the learning that takes place before your child starts the school full time and this will make the transition smoother for both parents and the children. I've also organised a nurture room which will be called a safe haven. Uh, 
the children can go and they have somewhere to feel safe and if they just need to get away for a few minutes. And we aim to have the same member of staff supervising the room at all times so that the children have continuity and someone familiar they feel they can talk to. I run the school's PTA and my daughter is currently in the school. My daughter moved to the school in 2013 and joined the Year 3 class. Amy was very anxious and nervous about starting a new school, but the transition team at Trinity School team worked fantastically with both Amy and myself to ensure a smooth transition. Before starting school, we visited the classroom and were able to meet and get to know the class teacher, where she explained um, the curriculum and how Year 3 was going to be different to Year 2. Amy was really nervous about starting Year 2 because she heard there was no more play and it was going to be all work, so the class teacher really put her at ease about starting the Year 3 class. I now run the school's PTA, which supports the school parents and of course the children. One event that we hold for the parents is a coffee morning every Friday in the school hall, which gives parents opportunities to meet other parents in the area where they can talk freely and openly about anything really that's bothering them or just for general chat. Recently we held um, a school festival for Diwali and we invited parents, children, all family members to the school to celebrate the Festival of Light. I'm the Year 4 teacher here at Trinity Primary and I've worked here for eight years. I've recently been appointed as the EAL coordinator and have been sent on courses. I've then relayed this information back to other staff at our insight meetings. I'm now working with external organisations such as MLAS. MLAS stands for Ethnic Minority Language and Achievement Services. Myself and my team work in partnership with schools to support pupils and their family from ethnic minority backgrounds who are learners of English as an additional language. Our role is to, is to deliver collective ambition for all pupils in our schools to have equal chances to succeed. Our services provide both specialist teachers and bilingual teaching assistants to help the pupils access the curriculum. Our aims are to raise attainment remove language barriers, help provide access to the curriculum, raise self-esteem and encourage social integration. So when your child joins our school, um, together we will assess their uh, English language skills using this five stage model. So if they come in and they're um, stage A, that means they're completely new to the English language and they need a lot of support. So we will help them work alongside from A all the way up to E, which is fluent. So I collaborate with the other teachers to ensure that your child gets the support that they need progress through these stages. So when I'm working with MLAS, um, we'll decide on the targets for each individual child and um, sometimes they might need one-to-one -one with a bilingual teaching assistant or they may need to be withdrawn from the lesson um, and then we can improve their English skills using um, communication plans to explain what they need, um, visual timetables and word maps. To ensure, ensure these aims are achieved, our committed, passionate and driven team provide your children with high quality bilingual resources. These resources allow the children to access reading material in either their home language or English. This will help to support their literacy. We'll also be working closely with the parents of new children and um, we'll be offering language classes in the evenings to help develop your own English uh, language to support your children. However, we do stress that it is important that you continue to speak your home language with your children. To recognise and respect diversity within Trinity Primary and its community, we work alongside the PTA to ensure schools celebrate all religious festivals and activities of ethnic minority pupils, which will help to enrich the work and life of the school. Working alongside the English as Additional Language Officer or the EAL Officer, we can provide the utmost support for yourselves and your children during your time within the school to help secure improved outcomes for our learners. We look forward to meeting you and welcoming you to Trinity Primary and supporting your child.